AFC West. All right, Debo. So uh, start with the Arizona Cardinals. I, <laughs> I, Good I, luck. Yeah, they okay. had 12 picks. Uh, I thought Monty Austin Ford did a phenomenal job again this year. I had three or four that I could have picked, and you probably would have picked the same. Christian Jones, the mm-hmm. offensive tackle from Texas, who they picked in the fifth round. Uh, Isaiah Adams, another guy that was playing out of position at Illinois. They took in the third round. He was a right tackle. He's going to move inside the guard. Uh, another tough physical offensive lineman. But the guy I mentioned earlier, uh, Dadrian uh, Taylor Demerson, the safety from Texas Tech, yep. who I think is going to be an ideal fit in Jonathan Gannon's scheme as a free safety. So now – I would imagine Paris Johnson Jr. will think about moving him to the left side. Do you, do you give Christian Jones a chance to start even as a fifth-round pick, or maybe not? I, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they try to slide him in the guard, too. Okay. Oh, this team is – I'm telling you, the we were looking – I don't want to get too far down this road. We were looking at the odds, early odds for the division winners, and Arizona was a distant fourth. I feel like this team has a chance to be a pretty good football team. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to say this, and it's hard to predict, but the jump we've seen with the Houston Texans, I don't disagree. Last year, no. no one gave them a chance. I don't think anyone's given this team a chance. I think they're going to be a lot more competitive than people say I they're agree, going man. to be. Uh, let me jump to the next, to the Seattle Seahawks. Um, two guys that I was trying to really go back and forth on. The third-round pick, Christian hmm. Haynes, the guard. I keep going back to these offensive linemen, yeah, but it was – you're sort of supporting them. Such a deep offensive line class this year. When you're getting guys in the third and fourth round, I think all these guys are come in and be legitimate contenders to start as rookies. But <laughs> I went with a sixth round pick, number 16 overall, DJ James, oh, supporter nice. from Auburn, who I thought was a very good football player, a little on the thinner side. Uh, but I think he can play man zone. I think he can have flexibility to go inside or out. I think he'll definitely give him some depth at corner. And I thought they got great value uh, for him. I thought he would go a lot earlier than he did here. Me too. And then the L.A. Rams. Another long list of names to choose from. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, the first two, the first and Fisk, uh, I thought they, uh, you know, are very good football players. Uh, but I'm going to go with Blake Corm. Nice. You know, uh, I thought that the uh, – Charger should have drafted him. That was my <laughs> hook. No pun intended because he's only small. So, yeah, I don't know if you call him as a half a player. But I thought this is one of the most instinctive running backs that I've seen come out. Uh, biggest knock on him is his speed levels off and turns one speed once he gets at the second level. But his quickness, his vision, his ability to stop start, make people miss in the hole for a smaller back, he runs with authority now. He's more of the hammer than the nail. He's always delivering and going forward on contact. I thought he improved this year catching the football. I think he's going to be a great one-two combination uh, with uh, Kyron Williams, uh, who they took out of Notre Dame a few years ago. And I think the Rams are going to emphasize running the ball. I don't think they want to throw the ball with Matthew Stafford at his age, getting him hit maybe 30 or 40 times, although they spend a lot of money in free agency, especially on the guard position, uh, to try to secure that offensive line. But I think that uh, Blake Corum's going to have a significant role and maybe the Puka Nakua, Kobe Turners of this year's draft. You know, it's funny when I just check while you were talking. Blake Corum, as you mentioned, went third round, 19th overall. Uh, the second round, and we'll talk about this in more detail in a little bit here, the Chargers took Junior Colson out of Michigan. They had the fifth pick in the fourth round. And maybe they would have targeted Blake Corm there. They did get, get um, Kamani Vidal out of Troy later, but uh, I wonder if Blake Corm was on their board. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, you would have won the bet, right? I would have won the bet. Uh, you got to call. You got a couple calls to make the Costa, and you got to call Harbaugh as well. Yeah. All right. Last last team uh, in the NFC West, the 49ers. Uh, love some of the things they did. Uh, we talked about he was on our uh, one of our uh, five star reviews. Uh, Renardo Green, I like them mm. better than you like them. Yeah, but I'm going to go with fourth round pick uh, number 35, Jacob oh, Cowing nice. from receiver from Arizona. 
He's a slot receiver, excellent quickness, very good speed, very courageous catching the ball because he has to across the middle, willing to take hits. I think he has run after catch ability. I thought this was great value where they got him because he can be an explosive playmaker, especially in Shanahan's offense. I think he was a 4-3 guy. Isaac Arenda, the running back, was a 4-3 guy. Ricky Pierce was a 4-4-1 guy. Uh, they might come in second behind the Dolphins. Yeah, they're building speed. They're moving. And that system on the offensive side of the ball is Brock Purdy, as good a quarterback as he is, get the ball in the playmaker's hands and let them go do what they do. Yep. And they have plenty of them on that side of the ball. Yes, sir. All right, NFC South, I believe. <laughs> Debo, do we even get a break? Yeah, three more teams. Four, teams. Four more teams. You can you can lay down if you want to. <laughs> 